Hi everyone, this is Tina from Cosmic Turtles. Uh, today I am not doing a reading, although when I'm doing stuff I get intuitive promptings of what's going on in the collective. Ah, my kitty cat is playing with these. I'm still uh, decorated a little bit for Halloween. Got an event coming up, so I'll let her play with that. <laughs> Uh, today, I'm having some tea, some Japanese tea. This is my little set. Having matcha tea. So, there's a little girl I know, and she would like to be Wednesday from the Adams Family. So, and she's eight years old. So, we found a black dress, but then we're, uh, I started cutting the ruffles off another dress uh, so we could put it on her dress. Like, um, like one side would be like that and the other side would be like that. And whatever we can find, uh, we'll do the ruffles for the hands. So I'm working on that today. So there's no card readings. Um, so I'm quite busy with other things at the moment. But intuitive promptings. Let's see. It's usually when you get creative, right? You, you get like, um, you will get intuitive promptings when you get creative. Like it's, you get into that zone, the artist zone. Those that play music and they're jamming out with other people, they know what that is. And those that draw or paint or anything creative, it's, it's like you're activating that creative side of you. So I guess the message today is about using that creativity, but using it in a way that um, it helps soothe you. Instead of being bored and, and, and spinning your thoughts in circles, do something, get a hobby, do something that's productive. Something that would be, a, 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 at first, you know, a mild interest because you're not sure. Maybe you've never done anything like that before. And, you know, but just something simple too, just even doodling piece of paper and a crayon, you know, we didn't, I didn't have like the whole artist set and everything that came later, but, um, and the interest built with different things I could do with different tools. But my first tool was uh, um, a regular pencil and paper, like any paper, as long as there's a corner there and I could draw and, and then got into the details, how to make scales for reptiles or dragons. and how to make hair, like just little lines and how you make the lines flow, like even hair, like you could tell, you could look at a picture and then you could see there's a wave, but there's many waves and then how to make the shine. Some people do uh, the pastels. If you heard that, that was my cat having the zoomies. She just ran real fast. <laughs> That's her way of getting creative. You know, the animals, they let go of stress by just having the zoomies once in a while. Young kids will do that too. So it's creative expression <laughs> of beingness. <laughs> so uh, yeah, creativity, like, and even if you don't know exactly what you do, try it anyway. Like, I mean, it's trial and error. The whole point of life is trial and error. You just zoom one way, zoom the other way, <laughs> like my cat is showing. And, and, and then she misses the mark and ends up hitting the wall. <laughs> Because she went too fast. But the next time, she'll know to use her, her her little paw print thing underneath, like her cushions underneath, and then kind of stop herself. Because the nails don't work on a wooden floor. <laughs> See, that's what we do, too. Like, we'll try something. It's like, oops. We had an oops moment. And then we're like, okay, well, next time, I'm going to try this. Or you jump in a pool and then you forget to plug your nose when you're jumping in and the pressure goes up your nose and you come out of the water, you're like, oh, that hurt. Next time you'll know to plug your nose, right? We learn as we keep going forward. So creativity helps a lot for the mental aspect. Like uh, you, you get yourself motivated, determined. Uh, first, you have an inspiration and follow that inspiration if you got the time to or set a time to get creative. 
a lot of times, uh, let's say for a writer's block, don't know what they're going to write next or they're, st they're too much stuck in their head. So then you're supposed to do something that's more physical and uh, go walk in nature and, and just release the thoughts. You got to have an empty head type of thing to be able to allow, create that empty space within without numbing yourself, without any other things on the outside you just you make the emptiness you breathe out whatever you stop the loopy mind and then you allow you're making that sacred space for uh inspiration to come through and then you'll have the next part to write for yourself so that's one way i mean there's many ways out there and you find the one that works the best i'm just showing little examples that i know of that worked for me and uh so right now my my 3D ability my ability to see things in 3D in my head like uh, let's say I see a, a box let's say it's a box okay it has six sides and I'm able to look at it in my head and turn it around like that and see all six sides at the same time so that's like a, a conceptual or a spherical way or dynamics they call it something i forget about it right now but there's it's a spatial view there we go spatial view and uh with that you can use that before you make something before you do something like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that then you try it out and then you see it doesn't work <laughs> so you back to the drawing board and then eventually you do get good at, at, at developing your spatial view in your head before you even attempt a project and then you end up doing the project in a good way that it didn't take that much time the most time you spent was the planning part and then after the plan is set it's clear then you move forward and you do it physically and you manifest it yourself so that's what i'm doing right now it's just i had an idea i got some materials and then I said, okay, I'm going to do it like that, like that. What could I do for that? Make sure I just sew some straight lines. <laughs> well, I want it to look good, right? I'm doing it out of, out of my heart, like to help out little girl. And, and uh, doing it in a way that it doesn't cost much as well. So saving some time and money. And, you know, when we're young, I mean, we're, she's going to be bigger next year. Even if she wants to be... Wednesday next year at least it didn't cost much and then you can make another one but it is a stretchy material I'm working with so she can use it although it might be too short next year <laughs> if she grows long if she grows taller <laughs> so we'll see how it goes so right now I figured as I was just cutting the material I could do that anywhere and I'll do it in a nice lighting here I might bring that lighting in my sewing room it's my creative room it has everything just it's i could do art one day i have one table i could do card readings personal card readings for people uh that come over or set an appointment if they're in this area of course there's people all over the world so for those that are not in this area or uh, will prefer to get more like i could do a video and it's like this it's like talking with you you'll feel like i'm there with you although uh you get like specific questions or something like that and then i do a, a reading that's catered to you video wise and i send the link and it's a private link only you get to see it now if you share that link with other people and they decide to put it online let me know because if you want to keep it private i can just totally remove it but the thing is the whole recording will be gone. You won't have access to it anymore. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you can show it yourself to people instead of just posting it. But it's up to you what you do with it. Like, uh, So I do private readings, and uh, you can email me at Cosmic Turtles, CosmicTurtles, you at gmail.com. You can also, if you're on Facebook, you can also go look at the... Tina loves life, but it's the Cosmic Turtle page that I have, and you can uh, you can add yourself. You can like do a friend request, and you can 
message me although it's mostly emails that i look at if i happen to look online like i'll, I'll check i'll check messages too but it's there's a lot of places to look i'm trying to bring it all into one spot but if you don't have you know certain if you don't have facebook uh you could do email so at least there's that so you could request um, a reading. And I prefer doing the ones um, on the video because then once it's done, and, you know, I sent it, 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 I choose when I'm going to do it. it. Although in the daytime, I could have people come over too, but if I'm busy doing other things, well, that's why we have a schedule, right? Set it around a schedule that works for both people. Like I said, in our in our busy days, sometimes it's good to like, I did the video at my own time, I sent it, you watch it at your own time when you have that time, right? And sometimes in the middle of the day, you come over or something and, and you're still distracted, still have thoughts, it's hard to get into the reading. But I do tell people you can record the reading if you like. So you still have, you know, you get to keep whatever was said for yourself is mostly it's words of encouragement and it's empowering the person on like who you are like people don't realize how awesome you like people don't realize how awesome they are they really don't and yeah you've had trial and error you've done things that you're not so proud of and but if you're willing to like i'd say redeem yourself but you're willing to do better like I said, life is an experience. We try, try again. Or we go in another direction if one direction is not working out right. Or look at it in a different angle and attempt to look at it that way. You know. So you, you figure out who you are in this beautiful experience called life. And not worry so much. Laugh more. Try to. So I'm almost done cutting this material and then I'm going to go and sew it on there. So this was just a quick message here. It's just like, because uh, I know when I'm doing creative things, I'll get intuitive promptings. So the message of the day today is get creative if you feel like it and uh, get a hobby or something that's, That'll help. The hobby could be exercise. It doesn't have to be like manual work, like doing with your hands, although you can. Uh, it could be exercise. Like it could be something that's just. <sighs> it could be theater. And then you just, you know. <laughs> it could be anything. Just enjoy yourself. Because the more you enjoy yourself, bring your vibration, keeping it in a positive way, the healthier you'll be, the more clarity of mind you'll have. And you'll just feel better about yourself altogether. And those around you that are pissed off because you're feeling better is because they're not doing it for themselves and they used to, ch and they, they don't like seeing you go away into a higher vibration while they're choosing to still stay on the lower vibration because that's all they know or maybe they're just afraid or they haven't gotten to that part yet you have so keep going there's always people that will match up with you vibrationally anyway and you'll get to know like you'll see it for yourself so this is a quick message from cosmic turtles and tina and we'll see you next time